got my coffee. I just made my coffee here. Really nice. I hope it tastes good as well. Let's see. Excellent. Yeah, so um, welcome everyone. If this is the second time you're tuning in, this is my new series of vlogs. I'm just gonna take you through my day-to-day uh, -day life and show you what I'm sort of up to. Now, I'm again back on the PC because a lot of my work is not only face-to-face -face in terms of you know interacting with people and doing training. I also do a lot online, as you see, because you're on YouTube, right? Um, and I answer a lot of questions on my social media channels. I do um, stuff like uh, meal plans and you know programs and all that stuff. So that's what I'm doing right now. And um, yeah, later on I'm gonna. Probably I need to go to the gym uh, because uh, I've got a couple of clients outside. Uh, gonna train myself. I'm gonna take you with me. So, whatever is gonna happen today, you're gonna see it. So, see you soon. By the way, what I forgot to say is I know the sound quality is shit. It's because uh, you know I got this new camera, the GoPro, and it comes with this all-round case. I took off the back, so actually the sound from the back of the camera you probably hear better than me talking. Um, a microphone and all that stuff is on the way, so maybe the bell is going to ring soon and the postman is here. And if that is the case, my sound will improve dramatically. So, hopefully postman comes soon. Back to work. Here we go, we got the new frame for the GoPro. So the sound will be better soon, guys. I like doing that. Okay, let's see what else we have. Oh. Oh. Rip it open. Oh. Got like a selfie stick we will need um, the pole we'll unpack it in a second and i ordered a new mouse because my mouse is basically uh, crap and giving up so let's just unpack this quickly as well see what's going on yes so that's a pretty uh, cool selfie pole for uh for the gopro isn't it it's nice and long can you know, take it with you. So we're gonna test that out. Um, oh, here it is. Ta -da! So I'm gonna put the GoPro in there and then we'll see how it goes. Yeah, so that's basically uh, my little setup. A yeah. little bit of tarot unpacking. That's how I unpack stuff. Yeah, and um, let me put the GoPro in the new frame and see how it goes. Alrighty guys, so this is my new setup and um, ultra wide angle. Now, there's also the new uh, microphone. Not the new microphone, the new frame, damn it. Yeah, I don't know, I hope the sound quality is better. I might get a wireless mic as well, we'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, so this is basically just a test to see if the purchase I just did is worth purchasing. So let's see if I put it all the way up there. Pull it down, and yeah, I'm just playing around, don't know. Okay, so we'll see in the video editing what kind of crap I'm doing here. All right, I need to get ready because um, I'm gonna see one of my clients in their house. And as it just started raining outside, which is typically for London, I need to put on some more jackets and you know make sure I'm warm because it's like you never know what's going on in London which is really it's a bit depressing but who cares have we got everything yes I think so I think we have everything right so I'll take you with me as always and I'll see you in a bit see this Uh, to my client now and I'll see you in a bit. Hey, we're in Regent.
Regent's Park now. I don't know if we see it here. It's a really nice uh, place, Regent's Park, especially when it's quiet like this and no one's here because it's just rain, so therefore there's not a lot going on. Um, just a couple of people maybe sitting on a bench like over here <laughs> and looking a bit funny. So I want to take the opportunity while I'm walking to my client um, to answer one of the questions I had via email uh, from you guys and that was saying the the problem she had was she said well in America and the US we have these companies these supplement companies who sell weight loss products protein shakes and all sort of supplements um, but what they do do is they have this massive competition going on that who has the best body transformation for the summer wins 25,000 US dollars you know what, what shall I say to that Generally speaking, the only reason why they're able to give away that much money is because they're making shits loads of money from you guys buying these supplements. I mean, that's the very first thing you need to know. And then the other thing is, that's the only thing they want, is that you buy their supplements. They're not interested in, in sharing any, any transformation pictures for the sake of health and well-being. They're a freaking company. They want to make money. That's all they care about. And then what's in these supplements? You have no idea what's in there. And I talked about this on Periscope before that. In the supplement industry right now, in the US, in the UK, even in uh, Australia, is not regulated. You have the FDA and you have other governing bodies which are, you know, they should care about what is going on. But because there's so many brands out there, it's very hard to track. And the other thing is, for example, I had a, a company from China contacting me saying, Mark, you know what? Why don't you bring out your own supplement, your own protein shake, blah, 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 all that crap. And I said, well, you know, if you can guarantee that what you're putting on that label is in there, I might think about it. But right now, I can't put my name to any supplement, really, because the way it works, just a little, um, you know, to give you a heads up, on the label, I mean, this is with every label. The first ingredient is the one which is most inside and it then decreases uh, depending on how many ingredients are in there. But, for example, if you put vitamins or, or whatever sort of sub substance in these shakes, they use them to promote these shakes. Let's say you have, uh, you know, BCAAs or something. They put, put other extracts in there. And say yeah it has goji berry and green tea extract and all that rubbish right there is something which you call the clinically effective dose and that means that there are studies out there which prove that these um, substances they put in there actually have an effect and that's great but what they don't do is that the supplement companies putting that in their shakes they didn't use the actual amount which is clinically effective and would give you the results. So what they do is they just put less inside but still say it has this, um, this substance inside and therefore you believe, oh wow, it has like, you know, it's a bit like these pre-workout shakes or pre-workout boosters. The more, you know, the more uh, substances you have no idea of what they mean, the better it seems to be. And that's why they're all fancy gold, you know, they're all bling bling shiny, and uh, that's the reason why you buy it. And that's the only reason why you have companies, supplement companies, really fooling you guys into believing that you're gonna be looking like the guy on the cover picture because you're freaking not. All of these guys on these cover pictures, there's on, most of them are on juice, meaning they're taking steroids, and they are, they probably not even have ever taken any of the supplements they're promoting. And I'm pretty sure of that because I've seen loads of them in gyms. Now, that's a pretty broad statement, I know, but you know it's not a secret. It's something which is very, very common. Now that's my little rant about it, but... So all in all, long story short, I would recommend to stay off supplements, try to get as much um, 
simple ingredient foods as you can. Simple ingredient means that when you look at the label or some of them might not even have a label because the banana doesn't need a label, yeah, then you know it's the right food. But as soon as you pick up something where you have no idea of what's inside, then I would uh, sort of, or when a couple of names along the, the label don't make any sense anymore, then you have to really think about is this the right thing to put into your system? Because if you don't know what it is, I can guarantee your body doesn't know as well. So, yeah, that's that's really it, guys. You need to make sure that you, that you stay on track with your diet. I'm going to be talking about diet in a bit more detail because I know this is a very, very big sort of common common thing you want to know about and. To be able to do that, I'd like you to, in this video, in the comment in the comment box below, ask me specific questions about diet, everything related to food you want to know, and I will pick these up and answer them in my vlogs. Because I could go on about anything really and uh, tell you my my opinion about it, but or what I think should you should be doing, because uh, I've proven it with my clients and got results. And you're gonna see it in my transformation on Wednesday as well. So I know what I'm talking about, but you know. Okay, everybody, I'm doing some editing now. Um, it's already quite late. As you can see, it's dark outside. And I forgot to uh, actually vlog my uh, dinner time because I need to get used to vlogging as it's new to me. Um, also, I hope the sound quality is better. Make sure you leave a comment in the comment box below and let me know how what you found good, what you didn't like, what you want to see more of, so I can get used to uh, filming that stuff. Yeah, and also if you could leave a like here, that would be awesome. And yeah, I'm going to tune out for now, and I'll see you tomorrow.